Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the convolution sum, that is calculation of the convolution sum using the multiplication and tabular method. So, convolution sum using the multiplication and tabular method. It is considered two simple signals x1 of n, that is two simple sequences of duration for each 0 1 2 3 for x1 of n and x2 of n is equal to minus 1 minus 1 3 and 4 now we want to find the convolution that is x of n is equal to x1 of n convolved that is convolution with x2 of n so for this purpose first we have to uh, build a table in which we have both the signals and the uh, products of corresponding elements that means first we write the first signal x1 of n along the rows now we write the signal x1 of n along the rows that means we have 0 1 2 3 we have 0 1 2 and 3 and then we write x2 of n along the columns so we have minus 1 minus 1 3 and 4 so we have minus 1 minus 1 3 and 4. Now, in the table, what we do is we fill with the products of individual corresponding elements. So, the first column will be simply 0, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. Second column is also same 0, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. The third column will be 0, 3, 6, and 9. And the last one is 0, 4, and 8 and finally 12. So, these are the values in the table that is these are basically products of corresponding elements. Now, uh, in order to find the sequence x of n that is the convolution sum of x1 and x2, what we do is we have to be, uh, draw diagonals across this table. Now, in order to find the values, all we have to do is find the sums of the elements or the uh, products along these diagonals. So, for example, the value x of 0, x of 0 is basically the sum along this diagonal. So, there is only one element and that is 0. So, x of 0 is 0. And next, x of 1, x of 1 is sum across this diagonal. So, 0 minus 1. So, the sum is simply minus 1. And then, x of 2, x of 2 is summation along this diagonal. That is the third one. So, 0 minus 1 minus 2. So, it is minus 3 and then x of 3 along the fourth diagonal. So, the sum is 0 plus 3 minus 2 minus 3. So, it is minus 2 and then x of 4 that is uh, along the fifth along the fifth diagonal. So, that means 4 plus 6 minus 3. So, it is plus 7 and then x of 5 along the next diagonal that is sixth one. So, 8 plus 9 17 and finally, x of 6 the last one is simply equal to this value that is 12. Therefore, the convolution sequence is that is therefore the convolution sequence from the tabular method x of n is given by 0 minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 7 17 and 12. So, to summarize we have looked at the an example illustrating the calculation of the convolution sum using the multiplication and tabular method. So, given two signals or sequences x1 of n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and x2 of n is equal to minus 1, minus 1, 3 and 4. We first uh, build the table uh, where we have the first signal across the rows and second signal across the columns. Then we uh, compute the products of the individual corresponding elements and put them in the table that is we fill the table with the products of the corresponding elements. So, we have uh, these values that is 0 0 0 0 for the first row and then minus 1 minus 1 3 and 4 for the second row and so on and then to find the values of the convolution sequence what we have to do is we have to add the values across the diagonals that is uh, we draw the diagonals uh, uh, from right to left across the uh, table and then we add the elements across these diagonals. So, for fi finding x of 0 we add the elements in the first diagonal. So, it is only 0. So, we get a 0 and second one is 0 minus 1 the sum is minus 1 and then third one is 0 minus 1 minus 2 and the sum is minus 3 and so on for the uh, rows from up to uh, and so on up, uh, for the diagonals up to the last one that is up to 
uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we can also verify that there are going to be only 7 elements in the convolution sequence x of n because the total length, that is the length of the convolution sum is clearly uh, the length of signal 1 plus length of signal 2 minus 1. So, it is 4 plus 4 minus 1, 7. So, the signal is indeed equal to signal or the convolution sum is indeed equal to 0, minus 1, minus 3, minus 2, 7, 17 and 12. Thanks for watching.